The recent announcements from the British Army raised serious concerns in Buenos Aires. Senior commanders confirmed that the British will be deploying 1,000 extra troops to the disputed Malvinas Islands, a small archipelago in the South Atlantic that belonged to Argentina, but was taken over by Britain more than 100 years ago. The order from London adds nearly 85% to the 1,200 soldiers already there, and the troops will be made up by members of the Royal Artillery, the Three Commando Brigade and the Royal Marines. This is another provocation from the UK, which also clearly shows their unwillingness to cooperate or negotiate. They accuse us of taking an aggressive stance on our legitimate claims. But then they bring nuclear submarines, missile batteries and everything else. Are we the aggressive ones? Located just 600 kilometers off the shores of Argentina, the Malvinas have become NATO's biggest military base in the southern Atlantic. Tensions between Buenos Aires and London have been running high since Argentina resumed its sovereignty claims before the United Nations. The UK is using South American countries' negotiations to lease Russian supersonic aircrafts as a pretext to increase its firepower from the islands, a move which experts find groundless. Argentina has been seeking a peaceful solution for the British occupation for a long time, and the purchase of the aircraft will be just to increase its means to defend the country from aggressions. The British presence in the Malvinas is absolutely disproportional and threatens our national security. The UK occupied the Malvinas Islands in 1833 and expelled Argentinian authorities and hundreds of settlers. Since 1965, the UN has been calling on both parties to conduct bilateral negotiations to settle the sovereignty dispute. But the UK repeatedly ignored General Assembly resolutions and progressively increased its military presence on the region, despite international treaties prevent Britain from doing so. Contrary to the new social budget adjustment plans announced by Prime Minister David Cameron, the UK has recently spent over £3.1 billion to build the new top-class aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth and £228 million to install a super-missile system to defend the tiny territory. Manuel Gifoni, Press TV, Buenos Aires.